This was the first time many people in Vacaville could even remember dealing with the threat of a wildfire this close to their homes. Yeah, CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live with more on the concern for neighbors there. Marissa. Hey guys, right now here in the city limits, people who live around this area consider themselves lucky. Many people only dealing with this. All of this ash that's been littering the ground. Many of you woke up to it in your own neighborhoods today. But now there's concern that these flames could jump here to downtown Vacaville in the city limits. The fire chief here tells us if this wind hits this fire in the wrong direction, the city could soon be in danger. All of a sudden, the fire was upon us. Vacaville Fire Chief Chris Concepcion sharing this video before this uncontrollable fire starts to take over neighborhoods. All of a sudden came up and it was, you know, 40 feet high. It's something he hasn't seen in 29 years of service and why he prompted almost 4,500 Vacaville homes to evacuate ahead of high winds expected early evening. We're really kind of at the mercy of, of, of the winds. We've got so many homes that are evacuated, even homes that are in the, what it seems like in the middle of the, of the city. Dana Hoover and his wife Joan waiting to see if they'll be evacuated. They watched the flames and the smoke from the backyard of their Alamo Road home. It seemed like um, it was super apocalyptic as far as the density of smoke that um, I hadn't really seen before. They're afraid and not used to seeing their urban home in a fire risk zone. There were like saucer, you know, size pieces of ash coming down. So much ash you couldn't see the floor inside the addition they're building, something they hope survives this wildfire. Yeah, that's flammable. <laughs> I don't want this to burn down because he's already broken his back. And <laughs> it's like, what else bad can happen? They say their whole neighborhood could be at risk. Down the street, Ricky Brownwood hoses off his car outside his home. It's a place he's lived his entire life. He hasn't seen ash or flames this close since 1964. Well, that's Mother Nature again, yeah. You know, you can't stop her when she, you know, you got to watch out for her. Yeah, and all eyes will be on Mother Nature and the sky this evening. The fire chief tells us this is a perfect storm right now. We're talking high temperatures, humidity, and then again, that potential for high winds that could knock this fire into the downtown area. Again, it's something that they'll be watching over the next couple of hours, and hopefully they'll be able to knock it out before more evacuations right here in the city limits have to happen, guys.